my dear friends. Keep calm. Please, keep calm. I beg of you. We'll calm down when we get what we want. Yeah, Nomad's out. Kick the Yukles out right now, or the strike will get worse! I know just what you mean, my dear friends, and... It's all words. We want action. Listen, my dear friends. I'm ready to work with you Listen to, to me, find please. a solution. Yeah, you better. And don't try outsmarting us, Bulia Keen. Just trust me and you will see. Come back tomorrow and together we'll find an honorable way out of this crisis. Mr. Mayor? Yes? What now? I need to get straight to the point. My time is precious, in case you haven't noticed. Would you give the order to open the locks in the port just until... Ho, 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 ho. Please, miss. I don't remember you becoming a citizen of this town. You need to understand that here in Valsenbor, people don't usually shout at the mayor like that. Especially if it's to demand the extracurricular use of municipal infrastructure. Uh, now, would you mind telling me how such a notion came to a tourist visiting our good town? Given the reputation the Yukels have in town, I shouldn't say that they're the reason I want the port locks open. Well then, what is it? May as well lay my cards on the table. The mayor might be glad if I get rid of the Yukels. I'm listening, my dear lady. I've decided to go on a private cruise on board the Crystal. I'd like to go to Now Dusk on the other side of the lake, so I need to be able to leave the port. Ho oh, ho ho ho! A private cruise? Listen to that. I don't like secrets as a general rule, but that's besides the point. What you're asking of me is just impossible. The locks must remain closed, on orders that come from above my head. So, some higher authority is stopping the people of Valsumbor from going to the other side of the lake by keeping the locks closed. Maybe I can get the mayor to show his rebellious side. Well then, what is it? I know you and the other people here would love to see the Yukos leave this region. And they will if you authorize the opening of the locks. So it's time to stop stalling, Mr. Mayor. Listen to your people and let the crystal leave. Who on earth do you think you are? I'm just following orders. Anyway, no foreigner and an American at that. We'll lay down the law here. I need to remind him where his power base lies. My time is precious, in case you haven't noticed. Dear Mr. Mayor, I can see that beneath your haughty exterior, there lies a minor civil servant who is used to hiding behind orders to mask his lack of courage. You are not going to get anywhere by insulting me. I have to find a way to get him to understand that we have common interests. My time is precious, in case you haven't- He has to see that the fate of the Yukels depends on his decision. Well then, what is it? Open your eyes and see past your regulations and petty procedures. Don't you see that the fate of the Yukul caravan depends on your decision? If they don't come with me as soon as possible, their ostriches will lose patience and try to swim across the lake. It'll be a disaster. The entire herd could drown. Dear lady, your arguments are not convincing. I suggest you find some other way to continue your journey or, if necessary, to file a request with the relevant authorities. But... Good day to you, dear lady.
Well? The mayor categorically refused to open the locks. Hmm. I figured he would. He's a complete lubber, you know. He's terrified of his superiors. We'll just have to use force, I'm afraid. Well said, Captain. Just try not to go too hard on the mayor. We just need to intimidate him a little bit. I don't want to hurt anyone. Oh, keep your sails furled, cabin girl. I never meant to imply we should rough somebody up. Do you have any suggestions? It's simple. You just put on a regular diving suit and go for a quick swim in that swampy water there. With a little luck at the bottom, you'll find where you have to open the port locks manually. I've never gone diving. But if you think I'll be fine down there, I don't mind trying. This has to stay between the two of us, Kate. There's something you need to know about the locks. They're also there to stop the lake monster from entering the port. Anyway, that's what I heard. But at this time of day, there's no risk. That spawn of hell sleeps all day. Where's a suit I can use? Meet me in the shed at the far end of the seawall. There should be something just about your size. I mean, near enough, anyway. Do you really believe there's a monster down there in that lake? You know, 20 years ago, it really wasn't Paranor that I was afraid of. Not the deaths, the radiation. That's what people say. But the truth is that it was actually that damn monster that made me scoot away like a minnow. It was lurking around Paranor. Drawn by the stench of the graves, probably. I saw its red eyes staring at me, Miss Walker. That's something you never forget. Underwater? How am I supposed to open the lock gates? They're kept in place with some kind of steel locks. Just try and pull them out using their mechanism. All right. There's nothing to it. Meet me in the shed at the end of the seawall. I opened the shed for you. I need something that I can fill. I need something that I can fill. I have to get all the equipment together and get it ready before I change.
Nothing. I must have forgotten something. Nothing. I must have forgotten something. That can't be the right setting. That can't be the right setting. Let's try something else.
I won't be able to open the locks while the bolts are activated. I won't be able to open the locks while the bolts are activated. Well done, Kate. I could not have done better myself. <sighs> well, if everything's ready, I'll go and get the Yukels right away.
In the meantime, I'll go and make sure that everything's all set. By the time you come back here with the Nomads, we'll just have to cast off. Perfect. I'll see you later, Captain. <laughs>